Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Rat Kutarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising monthly tarot reading <clears throat> June 2018. So this is going to be a four position enhanced spread for the month and the first position does express is up Sagittarius is topic of the month. The second position does shows up Sagittarius is challenges that they have to overcome during the month. Third position does shows up the positivity which the month has to offer to Sagittarius over here. And the last card does represent the final outcome or the result of these three cards here. As this is an enhanced spread that means we are going to use multiple cards per position or in our case that, that, is going to, that are going to be two cards. So the first card for the uh, topic of the month is that we do have the Queen of Swords with the Queen of Wands. So this is going to be a person that you have to deal with a Sagittarius. That is going to be all about the month. Now this person, it's um, uh, it's not demanding, but it has quite of a presence and quite of a authority for what it seems. These are the bold, aggressive queens that we do have. Not to mention that the elements are contributing for one another, or kind of like they are amplifying one another. So this is uh, most likely a, a very um, a respected businesswoman or a, a figurine of authority, like a mother or like a big boss. And uh, it does depend how you're going to use your cards here of what you're going to draw from that person. And most likely this as well is going to be uncovered here in the positivity. But we're going to get there to, uh, in a second. I want to give you a little bit more properties of, of that person. Most likely a woman because we do have double feminine energy here. A woman which suffered through a lot, you know, she mo she uh, went through a very poignant experiences in the past and exactly those experiences are what makes her uh, a person of such presence and such authority because she knows how to do things, she knows how to push things through, she knows how to utilize and people and capitalize on their um, skills and, and, and their knowledge as well. So it is a, a very good business leader and it is a very good, as a matter of fact as well, relationship leader if you want to say it that way. That could be your therapist here who is telling you how you should proceed moving on forward. That could be your medical doctor as well giving you the accurate diagnose, uh, diagnosis of your illness. Or that could be the business partner you have waited for which actually is going to give you the hint and it's going to create the strategy for you how your business can spiral forward. As well, uh, uh, this person uh, you need to know, however, is very aggressive with their approach toward especially issues. They like to destroy issues rather than just to deal with them. That being said, in case you do have that person as an enemy, you have a lot to overcome. But is this person an enemy or not? That depends to be known. Such is you need to know that uh, it is yet to be decided are you going to have this person as a um uh, you know, uh, as a supporter or as an, or as an adversary. That's why it will depend how you play your cards with them. So the negativity or rather the challenges that you need to overcome here that is going to be the, the seven of pentacles with the magician card. And uh, these cards are pointing to uh, a lack of, uh, of a lack of direction. Uh, was the word I was searching for. Now uh, the magician here indicates that you have the means necessary, you know, to attend to your uh, chores and to your duties, projects at work and relationships in the same time. But because we do have the seven of pentacles there on the crest of that position, it does mean that you would rather want to wait and not invest that much right now because you may scale up that the investment you are going to do at this very moment is going to be a futile investment while it is not that case. I do believe now that we do have these cards is that you yet have to impress that person here, that woman, so you can convince her to either invest into your business or to be with you into your relationship, alright? 
and you have to show personal sovereignty here you need to show how determined you are by with, you, with your actions when you are about to do something you need to as well shine with your communicational skills because you do have such by the way this means that uh, the, these cards are showing that you will be exceptional with your communicational skills very important as well is when you have an, an idea you know to share that idea with the people around you so people can see uh, and especially this person can see that you are seeking constant improvement it is exactly what that person seek into another one then we do have the positivity which the mon has to offer that is going to be the five of cups with the judgment card and here we do have as well <clears throat> A lesson learned from the past which you are going to implicate into your daily routine with the judgment and the five of cups realizing that uh, you know it is better to um, how can I place it it is better to scope the moment rather than to be frantic with uh, frantic with your uh, behavior and with, with your actions that being said these cards are showing that you are going to dwell upon your um, brilliance into creating strategy and it is uh, strategies and it is exactly the way how you're going to impress that woman the five of cups does point into your in your case with the judgment card is that rather you go for the um, temporary success the partial success you know you rather will will think for the big picture all right and instead of throwing yourself into vague um, vague actions and into vague aims as well and uh, insignificant and meaningless for that matter uh, be, instead of doing that you're you're going to rather start planning big and start um, creating and, and placing foundations for a, a big approach moving on forward which is going to seriously seriously impress that woman here because as I said she's all she's only about pushing things through and um, if there is not a hundred percent chance that the, the project you are after or the relationship you are after are going to succeed this woman is not going to invest into it that could be as well a man as a matter of fact but it, it will have highly feminine energy and under highly feminine energy I, I mean that he will take care more for their presence you know with for example perfumes and makeups and I'm not saying that this is a gay all right no, but they do have these manners that are more um, more common for women, but this doesn't make them gays, all right? So, that being said, it is very important to be bold during this, uh, during this month, all right? Even though you do have a hesitations here, you need to know that because we do have the judgment card in a catalyst position to the five of cups it means that if just even if you are about to make certain error and mistake just before the mistake is done you're gonna have the glimpse of uh, 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 the glimpse of insight all right which is going to allow you to um, change course and not make the mistake that you are on the verge of and last but not least we do have the final outcome which is the higher of cut with the uh, tower. By the way, um, as the fire, as the hierophant card, I had a, a client recently which uh, spelled it wrongly, and that's because probably the hierophant is not a very common word. Now, the hierophant is the hierarchy father, the father of the hierarchy. All right, and as we do have the tower here, it means that the hierarchy is going to rule one upon the other very difficult combination as a matter of fact with the tower and the hierophant card it does picks the results of all that is going to be uh, avoiding of disaster all right things are gonna go <clears throat> exactly as they are supposed to because the hierophant is also already established uh, established pattern going by the code of conduit creating a uh, a plan which is going to be followed no matter what and that exactly is going to avoid the catalyst here this is all created about avoiding the disaster so this could be uh, escaping bankruptcy it could be as well escaping being fired into one career and also being escaping a, a singular life 
our living as a soul but instead of that living with a person either as a business partner or as a, as a romantic partner etc etc but the whole point is here guys is that when you show determination and when you show willingness to improve your circumstances with bold actions you know with uh, with um, readiness to take certain risks and also um, having a, a sense of the errors you may make along the way admit those errors and try to fix them you are going to impress this person here which is a woman that is going to help you severely to avoid disaster that it is looming in the horizon so with that being said, Sagittarius, this was your monthly tarot reading for June 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.